matchup from the side of Origin. Maybe a little bit more AD damage. Oh. And was... You got there. I was just, just a little too late. I was like, what an exciting drop this is as well. You've got the Zed, you have the Rakan, Karthus, Kennen, Ezreal. That seems so powerful to me. Uh, but there's a Zed, mate. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Uh, so... Okay, you always keep talking. You think about no, the No, 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 because uh, funny enough, yeah, I actually... He does this every year, man. Champion Ocean. So, do you know the last time New Tech played Zed? When was the last time? 2018 summer. Do you know who he played against? Was it Caps? G2. Oh, it was against G2. Yeah, talking about absolutely. that. Talking about the game. Uh, Nuke Duck versus Caps. Let's go. Medic, look, Jungler. Oh, Jungler is just waiting from the side. Caps flashes away. Puts the Twin Fangs down as well, but Yankos ganking in the top lane. Fire trying to get away. Sonic Wave connects. Flashes under the tower. Almost locks up Yankos with the Mark of the Storm. Does, but he's just down a tower range. Cold on his way up. Not really too much more going on as Mithy jumps in, post spell shoots it. Mithy maybe a little bit overexpended with the gleaming the gleaming squirrel. <laughs> the gleaming quill. Find your words, Will man. Will Patrick back up. I'm just so only five though, so it's going to be a little bit of time before we see that Karthus ultimate coming out. Mithy's done a good job of continuously engaging here in the bottom lane. Knight comes out with perks, he flashes away. Mickey with the ghost water dive as well. I uh, will just escape, but looking towards those level sixes, cold. Just around the corner here as Captain Yankos square up against him. Nuketuck just about to hit level six. Cold wants to keep him here because he wants to find this kill. Oh, Dark Harvest ah, on Cold. Tuck doesn't quite have it. Here it is. Now he has the six. I talked about how far he should have pressure. Ooh, ow, we have flash the flash. Caps doesn't have the six. So much damage. Caps is dead. Look at the moves. Look at the plays, Venius. What was that? We talked about the level six mark for Nuketuck. We said that he does have kill pressure. The biggest thing was that Caps was still only level five. He just gets back to lane. Oh, and our Observer's already on the replay. Nuke Duck, he sees the level difference between them, and he's just waiting for an opportunity. He flashes in, he ults, Caps knows where he's gonna land, so he's able to land the Q, but Nuke Duck gets everything onto him. He lands literally every single skill, and he gets uh, their opponents, and right now they sit with the goal lead. Now, Yankos looking for a play up top. No flash on Alpha, he kicked back, there's a slicing mouse as well. Yankos taking over the tower, counter slicing mouse from Wonder just steals the ultimate away from under him. Cold does have the Requiem, but I don't think it has quite enough damage to take down Wonder. Is he gonna try for it? Looks like not. Wonder will also have his shield back up as well. Yankos going for the loop de doop he loop de doops all his way around onto Cold. Doesn't have the kick, but will follow it up with the Sonic Wave. Cold flashes away underneath the tower. Yankos still on the chase here. Wonder's going to push in the wave. And Yankos just needs to hit a Q. Hits it. There's the connection. Yankos under the tower, though. He's done. A one for one trade under the top lane tower. Yankos, Yankos also has Alfari. flash, though. Here goes Yankos. And for the flash kick, gets it straight away. Alfari trying to get away, but he can't escape from Wonder and Yankos. No need to burn the flash. Yankos gets his third kill of the game. And once again, the first blood king. Coming up big for G2. Hard camping around the top side of the map. Wonder's been playing this 1v1 extremely well. He definitely had some mixed performances, but this year he has been very solid. Now we see the bot lane. Mickey gets the hook off, but there's the quickness. So much damage coming out from Patrick already. Mickey dead. And Perks just couldn't do anything to save his, AD, uh, save his support. Doesn't even have the heal on the Sibir. Patrick and Mickey winning. Looking looking strong. He might actually go into Caps here. I think he's going. And Mithy's there with the chase. Doesn't have the quickness. Dodges away. They both dodge out of it, but Caps still escapes with the flash. Ooh, the mechanical intensity in this game is absolutely top-notch. As I think uh, Patrick is going to push in the bottom lane in just a second, but here comes Mithy straight onto Caps, grounding onto Nuke Duck. Caps, not really many ways out of this one. Keeps getting underneath the tower, though. And it looks like Nuke Duck didn't want to flash for the final auto. So the miasma from Caps there... Like, Ooh, you can kind of define a, a Karthus game by how many kills you get off the first few Requiems. You need to get that extra oh, damage coming out. Deathmark! Perk's going to survive. Mickey. Requiem, Requiem! Oh, Requiem! Is there a special shield? That's not! Pressar says Cole gets the kill, and just as we were talking about it, Origin are able to capitalize. They get the mid lane tower here as well. Origin pull the trigger. That was Pop so good. Eyes. So good from Duke Duck and Pat. Don't step on him. He gets spotted out. You can see the Karthus and Ezreal also moving down. 1v2 here for Nuke Duck. Edge of Night. Nuke Duck dodges away. Great stuff from him. There's the top as well, though. G2, maybe looking for the fight as Wonder comes in, steals away the. Death Mark, but Wonder now caught off. Death Mark's on to Nuke Duck. Patrick here for the chase. The Miasma comes down. Nuke Duck pulled back. Somehow survives for a very long time, but eventually goes down to Wonder. That's a shutdown. Patrick gets a counter kill, though. He's coming out from Wonder. Sonya's now completed for Caps. Spell Shield onto Perks, but they're looking for Caps once again. Quickness straight on towards Wonder. He pops the Slicing Mask from There's the Sonya's as well, but the Ignite is ticking away, and Patrick will not quite hit the Mystic Shot, but eventually gets the auto attack in. And there's another kill for the AD carry on the side of Origin. 
New Dog jumping in onto Yankos. Deathmark to follow him across the wall. There's the Requiem as well. Two quick kills for Origin. They turn their eyes straight towards the Baron. Yep, they have five members alive. G2 do have push in the mid lane, though. But Origin, they don't care. They're just going to run the risk. They Remember, they're a very squishy team, but they're going to look to take this very, very quickly. Slicing Maelstrom still up for Alfari. He has got the flash as well. He's in this flank position. You can see him just down towards the bottom of your screen as Cap steps forward, looking to see perhaps if they can steal away the Nash and Mickey going in as well. He almost gets it with the Ottoman, but can't quite. Smack comes out. Tower goes down in the mid lane, and Origin will settle with the Nasher. And it looks like they're going to give up this mid lane tower. Perks on the push. Alfari isn't going to go for the fight, but Mithy now not in the best of positions. On the home with Pop by Perks. Mithy caught out. Goes golden, but there's no real way for him to go. Caught up with the Phantom Undertow, and Caps will get the kill. Yeah, misplay there from Mithy. He did the game for them. A 17% AD and AP. Only going to buff up Nuked as he looks forward for Wonder. Alfari has the black position here, going in with the Slice of Master straight away. That's a quick as well already. The first one. The Red Queen comes out, forces Yakuza away, and Wonder's going to shortly follow. Great stuff from Origin as they collapse under the tower. No hesitation. Origin just group up. They see three members bot immediately punish. Another tower goes towards them as they now extend their goal lead to 4k and uh, Casio. But again, they have no reliable frontline as Nuked has found perks. Jumps into perks. Perks flashes the wall. The Death Mob comes out. Nuked can just jump back. He waited for Mickey to use the bone skewer and then jumps away. Cold here in the side of the fight as well. Patrick joins him up. Cannon's all the way down towards the bottom they side. I want to get close enough to that Baron. It's difficult though. Look at the level difference between the two junglers. Oh, <laughs> look at the damage onto Mickey as well. Two shot barrage. Door oh, just to the side of the Pike Man. And Mickey will retreat. Gets a lot of his health striking caps. And G2 will push out this mid lane. Perks. Stepping just a little bit too far forward, maybe. Mickey takes a lot of damage from Patrick. Once again, clearing out the way, but the mid priority now in favor of G2. Perks, you're all by yourself. You have a flash, Perks! What are you doing, man? Just caught out! Origin just collapsed on the G2 bot laner. And Perks was in no man's land. Big fumble there from the AD carry from G2. Into darkness, they pop down the far side, Alteration. But Yankos stepping into the bush, there's the death mark, trying to take out the jungle. Yankos only level 15, New Duck takes a lot of damage, jumps back, jumps forth. Yankos ignite ticking, but the same guy will keep him alive. The Baron goes down, Cole gets it. And now New Duck's running way off towards the top side. Caps jumped in, he's down. And Wonder has to escape the Requiem, calling down the prayers of God onto the face of Yankos. And finally, the G2 jungler feels the hell that is a Requiem. And Origin secure their second Baron of the game. to break into the base right now. They've got two waves pushing in. You can see Nuke Duck off towards the top side. Ojin pushing in with Patrick, Mithy, and Alfari in the mid as well. Perks back up to try and defend. Wonder has the flank position here. Steals away the slicing master. Maybe this is the chance because those ricochets are going to do a lot of damage from Perks. Here we go. The on the hunt. You can see Wonder just stunned up by Alfari. Nuke Duck gets a tower in the top side as well. Inhibitor not broken, but their tower is on oh. the hunt. He's found Perks. Coming in. Perks found once again. No flash on the AD cami. Perks is down. Nuke Duck doesn't even have to pop the ultimate. And now Mickey steps forward, but the ultimate dodges away from it. The death mark. Nuke Duck dodging around. Back. He's out of there. He's gone. Out on G2's hopes of winning this game. Cold goes unstoppable. And you can see Patrick pushing in the mid lane, looking for the inhibitor. G2 very much on the ropes. Perks and Wonder are unavailable to interfere with OGs they push into the base. That is the first inhibitor down. Origin looking to take down the undefeated G2 Esports. Here they go. The Nexus turrets, their target. The first team in the LEC to take G2 all the way. Cats so low. Patrick pops the ultimate, but Cats has to dodge away from it. The Nexus towers are down. Origin on the cusp of history as they take down the undefeated. Origin will defeat G2. faces across the board as Origin do what no one in the LEC has been able to do so far. They stop the 18 and 0, they get in the way of G2 smashing those records and they prove to any, everyone that they are a top contender here in Europe. Great performance all round from Origin. G2, we're talking about keys on the keyboard, Medius. Yep. And 30 minutes later we get to see Origin take down G2. And, and the and it was the way in which they did it as well. Not only, not only did Nuke Duck have a fantastic performance against Caps, kind of like his biggest rival, really, yep. since in the summer of last year, it was those two meeting in the final, and Caps got the better of him then, taking the series 3-1. Now, during the regular season, Nuke Duck really trying to solidify himself as the top mid in Europe, with Pokes moving out the way. A convincing game like he had today is definitely a step in the right direction.